I've recently been watching a ton of podcasts and lectures and you've probably seen like a bunch of successful people online and they all seem to have the very same mindsets and principles towards life that kind of brought them to success. So through kind of seeing these patterns, I just want to go through them because I think if we can learn to understand them, you can try and incorporate more of that into your life. So I have a whiteboard here. These are the seven. The first one is I can accomplish anything. You have to realize that like every successful person believes has like a lot of kind of conviction in themselves. They believe that they can do anything. And, and that's the very first one. You might say out loud, oh yeah, I believe I could do this, but do you actually deep down think that? And so it just, I've realized this one is kind of vague, but it does just take time of like, just constantly doing it over and over and just kind of reminding yourself, oh yeah, I can do anything and, and kind of acting in accordance to that. The second one here is you're going to be dead one day. So this is another mindset I've seen from a lot of successful people is they just go for things because you only have one life. There is only one life and you have to just start going for things. And that ties into the next one, which is nobody cares about you. This is number three. Nobody cares. And when you just start going for things and you just realize that 80 years from now, this is all gone. And what would me on my deathbed actually want for my life? These are things you gotta start thinking about and like really kind of refreshing every once in a while and just remembering. Finally, no one slash nothing is going to save you. So a lot of, this is one I definitely fell for. So back in a few months ago, I really started to fall into a, another like major rut on my self-improvement. I was like basically like two years into self-improvement, but somehow I'm falling into another rut again. How is this happening? What happened was I, out of nowhere, just started falling back into video games, falling into these things and I used to sell this like productivity coaching, right? So coach people. But I found that like these productivity tactics and these things kind of were a way for my brain to rely on this, this other thing to do the work for me. When the truth is you have to learn to accept that where you want to go, there is going to be a lot of suffering in between where you are right now and where you want to go. And you can't bypass this in any way. And so trying to have the right productivity tactics or have the right new thing that you're doing or the special new trick or this or that, it all doesn't work. There's no like get rich quick scheme here. You know, there's no like easy way out. You just have to do the suffering. And as soon as you accept that, it's so much easier to learn to face it head on. And that's what I did a few days ago. And now I've been waking up at 4 a.m. every single morning going to the gym immediately for a 60 minute workout and a swim and coming back here and recording four videos in one sitting. So you, you just have to start to accept it. I've, I really fell for this because a lot of people online say uh, that phrase, nobody's going to save you. That one never clicked for me because I never really thought like someone specifically was going to save me unless you're thinking like, oh, my mom and dad will. But when I kind of remade it to say nothing is going to save you, that helped me a lot because it, it made me realize I've been relying on these things as like um, a cheat, like a, a way to bypass the, the pain and suffering and not actually accepting what I would have to do to get to where I want to go. All, right. <clears throat> All good things come on the other side of fear. So this is another one. It's, you have to, fear is like a, a thermometer. And it's at, when it's at like the perfect temperature is when you're doing, when you're afraid of doing something, right? The fear never really goes away. A lot of people say this, like if you're going up and speaking to like, especially with like social anxiety, if you're going up and speaking to people, the fear never really goes away, but you learn to bypass it over time as you get more confident. And so it's the exact same thing with 
everything else in life. It's like that fear is always there and you need to start learning to see it as like a a call that maybe you're doing the right thing. A lot of times the things we're afraid of are actually the right things to do. And this doesn't mean like, oh, I'm afraid to jump off a cliff, you know? <laughs> so don't jump off a cliff, but you get the principle. You get the principle. Um, and these are just some other patterns I've noticed. Um, the last two are ego and extreme personality. So ego is another thing I've, I've really noticed in successful people. A lot of them just tend to have like a, a fat ego. They tend to think they're better than other people. And you, you might say that's a bad thing. That, that can be debated. I don't think you're going to, your life is going to get any worse by thinking that you're great, by thinking that you're the man, you know, whatever. Um, it, it, it's good to have humility, of course, but I think you can still, when you see yourself as higher, that can push you to becoming more successful down the line because you see yourself as... It's like a driving force, you know? If, if you think, like, I don't want to be like these other people because I'm better than them. Yeah, that can come from a negative spot, but it really can push you, and I've seen that a lot. So I'm just being brutally honest. The other is extreme personality. So extreme personality is this weird thing. I don't know how to explain exactly, but I've seen it in a lot of successful people in podcasts and interviews. They have this thing where it's like, if they're going to do something, they do it fully. They don't live like a sort of balanced lifestyle where they can just come home from a long day at work and play one hour video games. It's like, if I'm playing video games, I'm playing 16 hours a day versus like, if I'm on self-improvement, I only do self-improvement. Like I, So they kind of live one or the other life. It's like, they can either go one of two ways, complete like hedonism or into self-development. So that is what I've seen from a lot of uh, successful people. It's just that extreme personality of like, if I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it fully. I'm not doing these at like in-betweens, um, balanced lifestyle. And then finally, all of those seven mindsets kind of put into like a purpose, something to work towards. Because if you have all these things, but you don't have something like a, go a big goal in mind, then there's nothing, there's nothing there. You have to be able to put all this into the goal that actually makes you successful. So, hope that helped you, bro. Um, go ahead and click that very first link in the description right now to book a free call with me. And this, go ahead and subscribe right now as well to if this video helped. And I'll see you later, bro.